This is not a semen retention channel, but this is a big brother channel, Heat Boxing 79. We talk about boxing. We give you know, life information for the young men, even younger women, older men, older women, who want to take heed to it. Okay, so remind you, this is not a semen retention channel, but I do understand what semen retention is. Like I say, I'm a professional boxer, professional fighters. I know a lot of other athletes, they practice semen retention when they're getting ready for an event. So I know that the, the, the strength it can give you, the focus it can give you, it's just the motivation to be a better man, all right? So I'm gonna speak on this topic real fast, man, because I had a, a, a subscriber comment on one of our videos saying that he was struggling with semen retention, okay? See, first of all, we gotta go way back in the day, okay? When we was young coming up, you know? A lot of us young men was into watching those flicks, those movies, looking at magazines, and just, we was allowing that lust to grow. And then, back then, when I was coming up, we had VCR tapes, we had magazines. Matter of fact, I remember we had a, a video store, I forgot the name of the store, um, it was a video store, we actually had their own section of the movies. And they allowed us, even as young men, to go back there and get movies. And so, long story short, that seed has grown. Like when you was young, it came up with you. And now it got worse. It got more intense now. Why? Because it's free. It's right on your phone. You can sit up there and get on your computer. You understand? And what, it, what it's doing is, is polluting you. It's really taking away from your manhood. Okay? You got to understand something, man. It's meant to destroy you. When you have semen in your body, that strength. Understand this. Semen is so strong that it produces life. It produces a whole nother life form once that seed hit the egg of a woman, okay? So remember this, fellas. Semen is not meant just to be out here to be sloppy with. You know, I love looking at the animal program, the animal kingdom. You don't see lions walking around here. Well, they don't show us that part. You don't see lions walking around here dry humping themselves to get one off. You don't see tigers in the, in, the, in the forest out there dry humping to get themselves off. Nah, they do it to be productive. That's, as men, we are commanded to be fruitful and to multiply. That's a commandment. Now, when you sitting around here watching these videos, messing around with yourself, you understand? Just, just free balling, letting it go everywhere, you are not being fruitful. As a matter of fact, you're destroying yourself. You're destroying your legacy, okay? Yes, you are. Now, there's a few steps that you can take to help yourself get over this addiction, okay? Like I say, I speak from experience. It's not from, it's not for the 100%. Everybody's not gonna agree with everything, but this is my personal journey. I'm a 44 years old slash young man, you know what I mean? And I feel good about myself. Like I said, I'm a professional fighter. And I'm, I'm gonna say this, I remember one fight I had, or a few fights that I had, but I remember one specific fight that I went a whole two months without letting myself off. I wasn't listening to no kind of music, no, no kind of like dirty, um, filthy music, wasn't watching no, 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 no filthy television shows, none of that stuff, I was straight focused. And I, I was the underdog in that fight and I went out there and I got a third round knockout. I just felt so strong. I just felt so, so every, my, my energy level, everything was just up and I knew why. It's because I built myself up for that because I didn't release no testosterone just being free balling at all, okay? So there's a few steps that you can take to help you along with your journey, okay? For me, I'm a, I'm a man of faith. I believe in the Most High God. I believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe in the apostles. I believe in the prophets. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a faithful believer, okay? No, I'm not no so-called perfect man amongst the earth that walk around that don't make no mistakes, don't have no crazy, filthy thoughts. I'm not perfect in that sense, but I'm perfect and complete in the fact that I know God is God. And when he give commandments, it's to protect you. It's to really help you along your journey to make it to him in peace. So my first, my first suggestion would be get a prayer life. You got to pray. You got to know who God is. That's, that's the first thing. You got to know who God is and you got to pray. And even if you're not a man of faith, because everybody don't got the same beliefs. And I, I'm, I'm, I understand that. Okay. 
But I don't care if you believe in Christ. I don't believe, if you believe in Allah. You believe in whoever you believe in. That's your prerogative. Okay? But that book of Proverbs, the book of Psalms, the, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sarich, it has so much wisdom in those books. So much knowledge, so much encouragement. It gives you a peace, a sense of peace once you apply those lessons that's in the scriptures. So I suggest for you to, you know, read your scriptures, know who God is, get a prayer life. That's first and foremost, your spirit, man, your spirit life. That's first thing first, okay? The second thing you can do as a man is to get out there and get active. Get active. Start going for runs. First thing first when we get up in the morning, go for a run. Just go out the house, pitch black outside, no cars, no, 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 no smoking, nobody doing nothing out there stupid. It's just you and nature. Get out there, go for a speed walk, go for a run, do some sprints. Just get up early to get that blood flowing. You understand? And, and when you do stuff like that, it helps you with discipline. It helps you be more accountable for yourself. And me personally, I love to get up early and run because it set the tone for my whole for my whole day. Like when I get up early and get it in, you understand? When I and like I said, I'm up at 4 35 o'clock a.m. going out there running three and a half, four miles, you know what I'm saying? Doing my sit-ups, doing a little bit of push-ups. And then I get myself together. You know, when I gotta work inside the office, I'll go to the office. And I get to the office around eight o'clock in the morning, I'm I'm energetic, I feel good. And I see a lot of other people walk around there, they feel like, oh, draggy and droggy and just, just down. You understand? And the reason why I feel like that is because I got, I got my, my day started early. I invested in myself first. So that's, 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 that's the second step you, that you can take is to get physically active. And it, it don't stop there because now you got to get yourself in a gym. I personally prefer a gym with some high intensity, boxing gyms, MMA grappling like just something that's going to help you use that strength and use that mental energy you understand in, in a positive way yeah you, know, you can lay it on a bench lift weights all day you can do whatever you want to do like i say this for me i love to get at i'm not a weightlifter. all i run I, I box you understand I, I i do calisthenics like that's 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 my leeway that gives me strength that give me energy that give me peace right then uh uh, uh the third step that you can take too is limit your social media use. Stop clicking on Instagram. Get off of Facebook. Get off of YouTube all day, okay? You gotta really plan your day out. And as you plan your day out too, you gotta plan when, you, or when you're gonna use social media. Like I use myself as an example. You look on my phone, you look on my laptop, you look at anywhere, my tablet. I don't have no social media links besides YouTube. I don't have any social media links linked to any of my, my devices, okay? The only time I will upload or, 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 or go back and, and download those, 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 those own apps, that's only if I want to post something. And I don't sit around clicking and going back and forth, and that's just not my thing because I know the distraction that it can cause, okay? It can cause especially with IG. It caused a whole bunch of lust. Like they would just throw, like it's not even, it's not even in, in on your list to look at, but they would give you all kind of sidebars where you know half naked women, you understand, know or just just lustful, lust, lustful pictures of whatever, whatever you into. Hey, that's why I guess they call it smartphone. I guess they know what you went to. You know, especially do you, you know launch your engine search. Okay, so you want to be careful with social media, man. You wanna be, if you're struggling with this addiction, bro, you got to be real cautious on how you use your time. And when you're using social media, you're wasting time. You're actually looking at other people live their lives. Now I'm not saying you can't use that at all because to me, social media can be a good benefit, a good tool if you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to grow a business, or if you're just for promotions. It can be used for that. But let's be honest, a lot of people use it for foolishness. You know, everybody into different things in this life, but that's, that's just not my thing. I'm more, I'm an old school guy. I like face-to-face -face conversations. I like handshakes. You know what I'm saying? I like giving dap. Like, that's just me. You understand? But like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on my suggestions to help you overcome this addiction because, like I say, a man may be known by his look. So if you out there, you know, putting certain images up there, just, 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 just putting this stuff inside your head, you know, listen, 
you're, you're giving yourself that look, and that look is going to be in that brain, and that brain is going to act out whatever it's thinking, okay? So you got to be careful with social media use, okay? And you definitely have to start eating healthy. Put away all that processed food. Put away all the breads. Put away all the candy, all the snacks. Put that stuff away, man. And stop using so much seasoning on your food. Yes, that plays a part with semen retention. It does. Our body's not meant to consume salt. Our body's not, 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 it's not built to you know, use sugar all day, every day. Nah, your body naturally produces what it needs. You understand? And that's why we sweat so much because a lot of them toxins, it goes out of our body as we sweat. Okay? So you got to watch what you eat, man. Try to eat clean as possible, man. When you, when you um, you know, make your chicken, try to use, try to use like a, a conventional oven. Try to use a little bake your food, grill your food. You know, try to stay away from all that grease. Try to stay away from all that bread, all the sugar, all the stuff that you don't need. Like when I cook, because I, I do a lot of cooking, right? When I cook, I use powders. You know what I mean? Garlic powder, chili powder. But even with the powders, you got to be mindful of everything. You understand? So try to eat clean as possible and try to get yourself on a water diet. Drink water. Water, 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 water. You need your water, man. Okay? Because water, it plays a part. It washes everything out your body. It keeps you clean. Okay? And when you feel clean, you're going to walk clean. I'm telling you. You understand? So those are just a few suggestions that I can give, you know, somebody out there struggling with this addiction. Because I know this is a hard fight. This is a hard battle, man. I'm telling you. And we, we get this stuff put in our head as young men. And then, you know, as we get older, they always say that when you get older, you get stuck in your ways. It's harder to break certain addictions when you get at a certain age. You know, but right now, I don't care how old you are. You can be a 13-year-old young buck watching this, or you can be a 50-year-old old head OG watching this. You can defeat this, and you will beat this. Take it slow. Like Christ said, Christ said this. I ain't say it. Christ said, learn of me. Learn of me. You understand? When you learn of him, it's life in that. It's peace in that. It's protection in that. You're going to fall off. You're going to fall short. You want to backslide, God, God forbid, but you, you, you may backslide. But come on back, man. Repent, do your first work over, and start again. Don't count your days. Don't count your months. Don't have a calendar. No, just live right. That's all you got to do is just live right. Get yourself on a routine. Get yourself on a daily program, and you cannot break that program. Have your whole day your, your morning, have your morning, have your, have, your, have your day, have your evening, have your night, have everything mapped out. And you don't break that for nothing. You keep that until it becomes repetitious, okay? Don't allow yourself to fall victim to the enemy. As men, we're not meant to walk around here just with semen or Nah, nah. It's meant to be released. But you got to release it in a profitable way, in a righteous way. You understand? So y'all be good. Y'all stay strong. Team Heat Boxing. And I'm telling you, when you seek ye first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things are going to be added into you, man. Real talk, man. So to the next video, y'all be good. Stay strong. Protect yourself at all times. Team Heat Boxing.